Hello, this is a tutorial on how to um, put a DVD that you own onto a portable di device to watch freely. So I'm going to use two programs. First is DVD Shrink. I'm going to use DVD Shrink 3.2. Is that right? Free 3GP video converter. I'm sorry, I got that wrong. And so both of these are things that you can get on the internet and they're completely free and so I'm gonna open up DVD shrink 3.2 and so first thing I'm gonna do is click edit go down to preferences and on the first tab under preferences you're gonna wanna change it from DVD-5 to DVD-9 make sure that that's checked like that everything is supposed to, this is all good this is the way it's supposed to look okay then go to output files and then you're going to want to uncheck the split VOB files into one gigabyte size chunks because if you do that if you leave that checked it's going to split your movie into 25 minute segments and you don't want that click OK then you hit open disk so, window will pop up saying, you know, analyzing disk, and then, and then it'll be about two minutes, and so let me do that, okay. So, here we go, it's about to finish analyzing, and it's been about, you know, two minutes, it's no big deal. I just went to get a water, and so there we go. So it didn't take much time at all, and once it's done, you're going to see this thing, you know, this bar up top, it's, you know, green, and it, that's the, what's taking up space on the disc. So the first thing you're going to do is, say, reauthor, because you don't want the full disc, it takes up too much space. So reauthor at the top there, and you're going to get this list of the whole movie, everything that's on the movie right there, it's a compiled list of every single clip, all the menus, everything. So the, th the thing that you're going to want to click is usually under main movie, title one. And so you can tell that it's the real movie because it's, you know, an hour and 44 minutes long. It's the longest title they have. So you're going to click that, drag it over underneath DVD, okay? And so there it is. And then you're going to go over and go into compression settings. Now, you're going to want to unclick everything you don't want, which is French, Spanish, English, and... Now you can see that that's taken up some space on my seat. CD DVD thing and so you're gonna want you want to uncheck all the audio except the English and then uncheck all the sub pictures with I'm doing that because I want to save as much space as I can so all that is done then you're gonna hit back up okay right at the top there it's gonna give you this hard disk folder you want to select hard disk folder and then you can select the file that you output it up output the ripped version to I'm just gonna call it um, the name of the DVD so okay you want to leave everything else okay and it'll it'll kind of close that window and I'll give you this window it's What's, it's encoding it and as you can see I can enable the video preview and it's going pretty slow not as slow not as fast as the analyzing so it goes faster if you disable it and it'll take about 15 minutes to do an hour or two uh, an hour um, 45 minutes or two hour movie so that's pretty um, standard right there okay it just finished um, ripping my disc doesn't sound good but it does it, it's good yeah. I'm ripping my disc and so this window popped up saying oh you know it's finished and this is where the 
movie is and so I can X out of this and then the DVD shrink will pop back up this is you know what I was in X out of that X out of that and then I open 3 GP video converter and so a window you know this no continue this will pop up and it's not much to look at it's just a window and there's no settings, no preferences on this, all you do. Okay, so hit browse. And then you're going to want to go to the file that you put your movie in, if you can remember it. So I put it in this file. So the thing is, you're going to want to look for the biggest file, which is going to be this one, it's the .vob. What you're going to want to do is you're going to have to rename it. Sorry, move it down. Rename it. Because for some reason, this video converter does not like videos that have the VOB in them. Because that's the name of the video. So I'm going to rename my video. Um, what is it? And this window will pop up saying, oh no, you know, are you sure you want to do this? It might become unusable. And you say, yes, it's it's fine. So there we go. And then you double click that. It'll show up in the box. Then you can change the output folder. I'm leaving that. You've got formats you want, MP formats. If you're going to do it on a um, portable device, that's usually what all portable devices are, MP4. And you got all these presets, you know, I'm using it for PSP, so I just, there's not a PSP thing, but I'm just going to use mobile MP4 standard quality, because that's the way I roll. And then hit convert. Then convert it. There you go. And this will take about 15 minutes again. And so that's pretty much it. This is completely free software used. DVD shrink and free 3GP video converter and there's no watermarks and there's no limited usage so it's really nice and that's how you get DVDs onto your computer and I'm using Vista and so I don't know if it'll work on XP or Mac there you go oh yeah and I almost forgot that um some people use you know DVD shrink and then PSP video 9 and so I don't get that because PSP Video 9 takes about 9 hours to, um, like, fully, uh, you know, complete. Uh, 2 hours. Did I say 9 hours? 2 hours to fully complete. And so you can do this in about 30 to 45 minutes. Now the video converting might take a little longer than 15 minutes, but... So you can do this fast. Now it might not be as good a quality. You can change the quality and, you know, where I went into, um, oops, well, you can change the quality, and, but it'll take up space if you do, like, an iPhone quality thing instead of, like, 245 millibytes, I mean, or 345 millibytes, it'll be, you know, one and a half gigabytes it'll be a lot bigger and so I use this because it's shorter it's faster and you know there's kind of no point in doing the waiting two hours for a PSP video 9 to fully convert your video so this is much faster and I like it